started as a casual conversation grew into an ambitious aquaculture program, the Huntington Northport Oyster Reef Project. The goals are simple and straightforward. Improve water quality, restore habitat, and promote aquaculture. Oysters are a keystone species, the foundation of a healthy marine ecosystem. But pollution and over-harvesting have taken a toll. Newly planted reefs kickstart the natural food chain. We're giving Mother Nature a little boost here. This project is a public-private partnership between the town of Huntington, the Cornell Cooperative Extension of Suffolk County Marine Program, and local Rotary Clubs. The story really begins in Southhold with Josh Perry at the CCE Marine Hatchery. We do the hard science here, growing the oysters from scratch. It gets technical, but to start the process, we grow our own algae to feed our oysters. Once the algae is nice and strong, just like this tube right here, we'll then select um, what we think is the strongest parents for spawning, which is called broodstock. We'll then, once spawned, capture the larvae, and when they're old enough to set, or attach a solid substrate. Um, oyster larvae prefer a calcium carbonate, so pretty much clam oyster shell is a really excellent substrate to use for this. Oysters in their larval form will swim, but they'll eventually get to a point where they don't want to swim anymore. At that stage of the game, they'll cluster in tight masses, creating these very intricate, awesome 3D structures where other critters can hide and feed. One of our specialties at Cornell is producing spat on shell inside and tanks. After a few weeks, when the half shells are packed with tiny baby oysters, we deliver the animals to Huntington and Northport, and at that point, that's when CCE marine specialists and rotary volunteers will then take over. We've been at the Gold Star Aquaculture Center for well over a decade, raising hard shell clams, rib mussels, and oysters. Our nursery docks are specifically designed for spat on shell. We make sure the docks are in good working order and properly outfitted with gear. This grow out structure is simple and easy to use, Trays hang in nutrient-rich water, constantly replenished with the tides. During the growing season from late June to early September, work teams clean the oysters and gather the data to determine growth rate and survivorship. The statistics from the 2022 season were phenomenal. Success was due in large part to extra care from volunteers. It's important that this entry point into shellfish aquaculture and citizen science is safe and accessible. Volunteers range in age from 15 to 75, and everybody finds a comfort zone. So in 10 short weeks, volunteers grew over 175,000 oysters with the potential to filter about 9 million gallons of water per day. There were over 100 of us who came to Gold Star Beach from villages all over Long Island. Shifts last about an hour. We lift the trays, scrub the gear, coddle the spat, and measure the oysters. There are always some surprise visitors like eels, crabs, shrimp, and fish. It's a dedicated group. We're making a positive impact by building spawner sanctuaries to release millions of oyster larvae into our bays and harbors. I'll surely be back this summer to do my part on the docks. The town of Huntington is serious about aquaculture. This project benefits all the key stakeholders, the bathers, the boaters, and the baymen. Clean water and abundant marine life is essential for the residents of Huntington and in everyone's best interest. Choosing the right spot for the location of our reefs is critical. We work closely with the people who know and depend upon these waters. We want to plant reefs strategically where they will thrive and do the most good. When our waters become cleaner, our native oyster population should be restored to levels unseen in decades. It's going to take work and dedication, but this is where we need to start. If we can plant a network of reefs from Lloyd Neck to Duck Island, everyone who enjoys the Huntington Northport water bodies will benefit. It's a win-win-win. We need everyone to pitch in as they can. Whether you volunteer on the docks or write a check as a sponsor, it all helps. With the town of Huntington, CCE Marine, and Rotary, we've assembled a great team and we're developing a sensible, measured plan for growth. A half-shell recycling program is underway. We want to make sure Josh will have plenty of substrate for our spat-on-shell oysters. We're exploring ways to expand our aquaculture efforts, like starting a sugar kelp cultivation program that will capture excess nitrogen during the winter months. But growing oysters and planting reefs will always be at the foundation of what we do. 
please consider joining our group of volunteers or supporting our efforts with a donation. We'll see you on the docks. Oh, 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 oh